this is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today, I will help you with lesson four, adjust quotients. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. Here's our homework helper. Today, what we're going to do is estimate by using compatible numbers, and then we'll try working out a problem. And if it works, great. If it doesn't work, we'll adjust the quotient and try again. So let's take a look at this one. Let's do the first one together. We're going to take 1,246 and divide by 48. So I need to ask myself, how many times will 48 go into 1? Well, it won't go into 1 at all. How many times will 48 go into 12? It won't go into 12 also. So I'm going to take 48 into 126. Now I want to use compatible numbers. So what I'm going to do is in, I'm going to ask myself, how many times will 4 go into 12? Okay, so 4 will go into 12 three times. So here to the side, I'm going to do 48 times 3 and see if this will work. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 times 3 is 12. 13, 14. And so I got 144. Oh. I notice that 144 is larger than 126. So I'm going to erase that. And instead of using 3, I need to use a number that's close to 3 but smaller. So I'm going to try 48 times 2 this time. 8 times 2 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So this time I have 96. So I'll write down 96 and subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. And 12 minus 9 is 3. Okay, this worked. So now I have 30 and 48. 30 is smaller than 48, so I'm right on track. The number that I tried was 2, so I'm going to put the 2 right here above the 6. And now I can bring down the 1. Okay, I have 48, and I'm going to divide into, I'm going to go into 301. 48 is really close to 50. So I'm going to put that like in a thinking cloud and ask myself how many times 50 will go into 301. 5 will go into 30 six times. So I'm going to try 6. Let's do 48 multiplied by 6. 8 times 6 is 48. 4 times 6 is 24. Plus 4, mi 4 more is 28. Okay, so I have 288. I multiplied by 6. So I'll put 6 here and 288. Now I'll subtract. I can't do 1 minus 8, so I'm going to need to borrow. I can't borrow from the 0, so I'm going to cross through 30 and write 29 on top. 11 minus 8 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. So I have 13 as a remainder. So my answer is 26 with a remainder of 13. I'll write it up here. 26 with a remainder of 13 and circle it. All right, so you're going to do these two. Looking at number three, you're going to, going to need to write 428 divided by 61 in a division box. And then do the same thing. Okay, here on the back, we have divide to find the variable in each equation. Here I have 140 divided by 28. Let's try that one. Let's do, I need to write it in a division box. I'm going to write it over here to the side so I have some room to work. 140 divided by 28. Okay, so I'll ask myself, how many times will 28 go into 1? It won't. How many times will 28 go into 14? It won't. How many times will 28 go into 140? Well, that's what I need to figure out. Mrs. Anderson? Yes? We have a pair of phone calls out here in the office. Okay, thank you. So what I'm going to need to do is think, I'm going to, 28 is really close to 30. So I'll ask myself, how many times does 30 go into 14? Or how many times does 3 go into 14? I think it's going to be about 4 times. So I'll try 28 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. I have 112. So I'll write 112 and subtract. 10 minus 2 is 8, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, look at this. I have 28 and 28. I'm thinking then that I can go one higher, so I'll do 28 times 5. 
8 times 5 is 40. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 more is 140. Oh, that's exactly what I need. So instead of 112, I'm going to do 5 and do 140, and then subtract. All right. Okay, you can continue to do the same thing throughout the rest of the page here. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.